How's it going, guys? We are back and we are reacting to Neuralink Full Send. Let me see. I'm gonna show this. We are reacting to the Neuralink video. The Neuralink. If you don't know what the Neuralink is, basically they're implanting a chip. Elon Musk is implanting a chip into somebody's mind so that we are able to communicate with our thoughts. And they did extensive tests on pigs and they were able to read the pig's mind and they finally implanted it into a human being. So we're gonna be reacting to that. If you guys don't know why this is important, imagine being able to have full conversations with people just with your mind. Imagine being able to relive a memory completely, fully. Imagine being able to see an ad directly into your mind. <laughs> These things are going to be possible if you get a Neuralink, right? Who knows what, what else might be possible. Imagine being able to learn math and like, or some complex skill, how to be a pilot from somebody else's memory. The possibilities are endless. However, is it safe? Would you get it? Those answers will be answered today. Let's take a look at this video. Musk announced Neuralink had implanted their first brain chip into a real life human. But in the weeks that followed, we heard nothing but crickets. Based on the prior testing results with monkeys, doctors, scientists, and Elon haters all over the world feared the worst. They assumed the encephalon likely exploded and patient zero did not survive. Finally, yesterday we learned the truth. The Neuralink install was a success and the results are absolutely mind-blowing. First ever user of the Neuralink device and I think you're my only telekinetic friend that they have. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it is March 21st, 2024, and you're watching The Code Report. This is Nolan Arbaugh. He's a 29-year-old who was paralyzed from the shoulder down in a diving accident. That's not the best card to be dealt in life, but over the last few weeks, he's gained telekinetic-like abilities that seem impossible at first glance. Like here, he's controlling a mouse cursor to play games like chess and Civ 6 using nothing but his thoughts. There's no eye tracking or sensors other than the chip in his brain. In today's video, we'll find out exactly how this crazy technology works and make some predictions about where things are going in the future. But first, I think humanity owes this guy a huge amount of respect and appreciation. The average... Bruh, could you imagine being able to play chess with your mind? Like, I don't know if you guys are in the chess like me, but Hikaru is extremely... Like, the masters are extremely fast with their mouse. Imagine how fast they could be with their mind. Like, there's a lot of applications to this. Imagine, like, me being able to program with my mind. Um... Instead of having to type, the ability, typing is not even the best way to write information on the board. So imagine being able to type with a neural link. Your ability to be the productive when it like 10X overnight. And so this is exciting. Or imagine like being in the NBA and you being able to communicate with your teammates, right? Um, <laughs> I was just thinking about that. I was like, what if you... You're on the team with like Kobe. Let me pull this down for real quick. I didn't even realize this stuff was still up. My bad. Oh. Imagine being able to get cussed out by Kobe Bryant or your your teammate having a mind cussed out battle in your mind. Like the future is crazy. I do not know what the future holds. Like <laughs> Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you would do if you had a neural link, how you would use it, and where do you think it would be useful for you? person thinks they're brave for being an early adopter of the Cybertruck, but it takes real balls of stainless steel to order the Foundation Series Neuralink. What's crazy is that the chip itself is not installed by a human surgeon, but rather a surgical robot. After drilling a hole into your cranium, it implants a bunch of tiny threads that are finer than a human hair. It uses a tiny needle like a sewing machine to weave these threads into your brain. Each thread contains high-density electrodes, which are capable of detecting electrical activity, also known as brain waves. The N1 chip has 1,024 electrodes 
electrodes distributed across 64 threads, which means you have 16 electrodes per thread. To put that in perspective, a typical electroencephalogram will have around 20 sensors, and they typically max out around 256 electrodes. In addition, they're on the outside of your skull, which means you're more likely to get interference before that signal reaches the electrode. The only real advantage is that you don't have to drill a hole into your skull. The N1 transmits data wirelessly and is powered by a small lithium-ion battery, and that battery is charged wirelessly from the outside via an inductive charger. But the big question here is how is this guy actually moving a mouse with his thoughts? Well, in order to understand that, we need to learn a little bit about brain waves. When you're asleep, your brain emits low-frequency delta waves around 2 hertz. When you wake up and become a little more alert, they increase their frequency to alpha waves at around 10 hertz. And then finally, when you become highly focused, like when solving a coding problem or playing chess, they become gamma waves at around 35 hertz. And that's what we're most interested in measuring, because we can recognize certain wave patterns, just like a sound wave, which can identify a distinct thought in your brain. They didn't provide a ton of detail in the Neuralink video, but he might have a thought, like move my right arm, that creates a specific type of electrical signal in his brain. The chip itself can then pick up on that, which triggers an action to move the mouse to the right. But that doesn't happen magically right Right after the surgery. There's a brain computer interface where the end user needs to practice a bunch of movements because everybody's brain waves are different and it needs to learn which thoughts correspond to which movements. Now, if you have working arms and legs, you might not be all that excited. Yeah, I would love to see some of this, like, I guess they're hiding some of that information as far as like how did how fast it took them to learn this interface. Um like I, I i'm trying to think to myself right now if i had a neural link how would i tell it to like move up and like is this process like coding it, uh, coding is very draining on the mind like is using the neural link is it tough on the mind is it hard to like necessarily control let's see i got somebody else in here i made out from this part of the human experiences Yeah, I don't know about this. Fire ship sucks. <laughs> I like fire ship. But for many, this technology could be life-changing, especially when integrated with futuristic technologies. Like today we have wheelchairs, but in the not-so-distant future, they could be replaced by mech suits that are entirely controlled by the person's brain. I know that sounds crazy, but the field of robotics is also popping off right now. Figure 1 has incredible human-like dexterity, and NVIDIA just announced their own humanoid robots, and it's only a matter of time before there's an Apple Robot Pro. When brain chips and robotics converge in the near future, human disabilities may be far less restricted, and that's a big win for humanity. Now, brain chips do have their skeptics for obvious reasons, but luckily, the data only flows one way. You don't have to worry about getting KFC advertisements injected into your dreams, and they won't be able to turn off important bodily functions if you don't pay your monthly subscription. Also, they can't really identify highly complex thoughts, which means there's no need to worry about being thrown in jail for wrong think while the NSA monitors your thoughts. And most importantly, there won't be an API for JavaScript developers to build apps on it. Now, finally, the good news is that you can be an early adopter as well. Clinical trials are open open for the Neuralink Prime study, where you can get your Founders Edition brain chip. Make sure to sign up with the link on screen. Full disclosure, this video is not sponsored, and I don't get paid if you don't survive the trial. So come with me if you want to not die. This has been the Cobra. <laughs> Bro. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, so I was wrong about the ads part of that. Um, my final thoughts, I would say what I get in Neuralink let me go back. Sir, I'll just that's not good. Would I get a Neuralink? Um at this moment, no, I have no plans of being a part of the trial. But as it becomes more safe and I might have a need for it, I can see myself getting one in my eye lifetime. Honestly, guys, I love not being on the internet. Like I have to limit my time on Instagram and YouTube, especially since starting a business on here it just it becomes so draining to be a part of the internet and so i would say yeah i'm glad to see that the Neuralink does not allow people to send information into your head at least not the, at this point but i'm sure they're going to make an upgrade where that's capable as well it seems like this one is just about um being able to transmit your thoughts out and so um yeah the future is odd <laughs> the future is odd my guy thank you so much for watching the video into its entirety 
every time you like, share, and subscribe, it really helps the channel grow that much bigger. And if you're here just to hate, it's all good because the hate helps too. Peace.